Hey everyone, it's time to jump into the Southwest region of the United States. So we have gone through three of our regions already. We are on the fourth one. This is the smallest one. There is only four states in there. So let's jump in. Oh, sorry. Here we are, five regions of the United States. We've done the Northeast, we've done the Southeast. We did the Midwest last week. So we are now here on this yellow Southwest region of the United States. There was only four tiny states in this region. So let's get started. The Southwest, the Southwest region, here are our four states. We have Arizona, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and big old bad Texas. Here's a little history of the Southwest region. The native people had been living on the land that became known as the Southwest for thousands of years. And what became New Mexico and Arizona, the Pueblo people built unique buildings into rock ledges. Mound builders were found in the land that would become Oklahoma. Then we had the Spanish explorers arrive in the early 1500s, and then the Europeans arrival brought about a lot of change to those little four states. And here are just some photos of what the Pueblos homes looked like located in New Mexico. Those are called adobes. Those are kind of mud and clay um, homes that are multi-level. Some of the climate in the Southwest. Most of this region has a hot and dry climate. So if you're in Texas or Arizona, it's usually very warm and humid and dry there. It's kind of hard to breathe if you go outside. This region has a lot of sunny days though throughout the year. It is also known for having some very powerful storms. The Southwest region can have terrible droughts since it is so dry and hot. A drought means that there's not enough water to um, be in and on the land. A drought can last for several months or even years. It can be deadly for plants and animals living there who need water to survive. So a drought is when there's not a lot of rain, not a lot of water, um, and things just really dry out. So we'll, we'll see that when we get to the west, they um, don't have a lot of water and precipitation sometimes too, and that's why some of those regions end up having these really bad wildfires because it's so dry and humid there. Now the land of it, there's mountains and deserts, lots of canyons and caverns. We have mesas and plateaus. There are forests and plains and even some beaches there. Now the economy is like the business side of it. What are they good at there? So some of the major industries are fishing, tourism, farming, ranching, Mining, they mine minerals, copper, and oil. And then there's also natural gas production. So a big thing, um, a tourist attraction for Texas is just because it's the largest state, it's an old, um, it's an old town, and people just love going to Texas to, to say that they were there. Um, also, Arizona is a very, very beautiful area with lots of canyons, and you'll see that one of the uh, major canyons that we know about is actually located in this region, too. Here are some natural resources. Again, we learned last week, we refreshed our memory, that a natural resource is something that comes from the earth. It's coming from the environment. It's not man-made. So um, natural resources are found in the environment and some of the biggest ones in the Southeast region are oil. We get most of our oil from the Southeast, I'm sorry, the Southwest region. It's pumped up from the ground. So we also have metal, which is also mined from the ground. And then we have uh, minerals, which is also mined from the ground. Now, there are some renewable resources. So again, Non-renewable means we can't use them again. Once they're gone, they're gone, like oil and natural gas. A renewable resource means we can continue to use that. So it's one that won't run out, and we can continue to use that. And one of the biggest renewable resources in the Southwest are wind turbines, water and dams, and sun with a solar panel. So you see right here the wind turbines 
are creating uh, solar energy for the wind. Um, we also have water, which are dams that kind of block off areas. And then there's a lot of sun in the Southwest region. So people implement solar panels so that they have that type of energy to use as well. Some famous landmarks, they are man-made things such as a monument, they can be historical locations, and they can be created by nature. So here are some of the famous ones. Do you know what these are? We'll see. Okay, our first state is Oklahoma. The name Oklahoma comes from ch two Choctaw Indian words, Okla meaning people and Puma meaning red. So the state's name literally means red people. Oklahoma is only two is one of the only two states whose capital city's name, Oklahoma City, includes the state name. The other is Indianapolis, Indiana. So Oklahoma is the state. Oklahoma City is the capital's name. That's a cool fact. So Oklahoma has produced more astronauts than any other state. This one's a fun fact. The, the first shopping cart was made here so people could buy more and a single visit to the grocery store. Could you imagine going to the grocery store right now with not a shopping cart? Sometimes I go in for just one item and I end up carrying all kinds of stuff because you can never go into the grocery store usually for just one thing. Originally, the state of Oklahoma was set aside for the Indians and was called Indian Territory. However, in 1889, the land was, op was opened to settlers and what became known as Oklahoma Land Rush. On the first opening day of April 22nd, 1889, 50,000 people swarmed into this area. Those who tried to beat the noon starting gun were called Sooners. Hence, the state's nickname is the Sooner State. And that is, I believe, their state flag. Here we are, New Mexico. This is one of my favorite states because it's so cool. They have a lot of different things going on there. So New Mexico is one of the states that from, four, from the four corners, the only location in the United States where four points intersect at one specific point. So if you look at the picture, right, let me get my marker here, right here, you could stand in that spot and be in four different states. You could be in Arizona, you could be in Colorado, you could be in Utah, and New Mexico. So that is so cool. This in this state, there is a kind of a grid, and you can look at it in your social studies book. It is in four areas, and if you stand directly in the middle, they all intersect each other there, and you could be in four states at one time. Super cool, and you can see it right here as well. Okay, since New Mexico's climate is so dry, three fourths of the roads are actually left unpaved. So they're kind of like dirt roads. Um, they don't pave it with nice solid, uh, like uh, the black kind of asphalt that they put down there. Um, when you see the roads, our roads are like really smooth and you can see how these ones are left unpaved with just kind of rocks and dirts there. Um, Microsoft was founded on April 4th in 1975 by Bill Gates and Paul Allen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. There are more cattle and sheep in this state than people. So if you are in this state, um, you are probably few and far between because there is more cattle and more sheep in New Mexico than there are actual people, which I think is really funny. This is one of my favorite things. And I actually just had a friend go to the hot air balloon uh, fiesta or, or party kind of this, this October. So in October in Albuquerque, New Mexico, excuse me, they have the world's largest international hot air balloon fiesta. So you can go there and look at all these different hot air balloons all around. And you can also take a tour in a hot air balloon too. That's actually been one thing on my bucket list that I've I would love to do is take a hot air balloon ride. Our next state is Arizona. The sun shines in Southern Arizona 85% of the time, which is considerably more sunshine than Florida or Hawaii. 
guys, I'm not sure what Pittsburgh's um, sunshine uh, percentage is, but I guarantee you it's not even close to 85%. So we had a touch of sunshine this morning and now the clouds are taking over again. Uh, Arizona frequently has the hottest and the coldest temperatures on the same day. So you could wake up and it could be the hottest day of the week, and then you could go to bed and it could be the coldest day of the week too. So I think that one's certainly interesting. Arizona is known as the nation's Valentine because it joined the union on February 14th, which I thought was cool. The Hoover Dam made in the Black Canyon on the Colorado River. So Hoover Dam is a very, very famous thing that a lot of people go visit uh, when they are in Arizona, as well as the Grand Canyon. It's 277 miles long and it's up to 18 miles wide and over a mile deep. So the Grand Canyon is a, um, is a environmentally made, so a, a man or a digger or anything like that did not go and make this Grand Canyon. This is something that the earth created on its own based from erosion and weathering and lots of different things. Um, I attached a video tour of the Grand Canyon on the YouTube channel, so you could watch that when you're done with this. Our last state is Texas. Texas is second in size only to Alaska. So Texas is the second largest state. Alaska is the first. It is the largest oil producing state though. So they, we get a majority of our oil from Texas. Um, I visited a friend in Texas several times uh, years ago and it's crazy because when I was down there, I saw more Texas flags than I think I've ever seen. Um, like a lot of people in the United States, like in Pittsburgh or even Pennsylvania, we fly the American flag maybe in our front yard. But for some reason in Texas, they, they all fly the Texas flag. Um, so that's just one thing that you see a lot of when you go down to Texas is a Texas flag. And they may have the United States flag too, but um, I know a lot of people in, in Pittsburgh or Pennsylvania, we don't necessarily fly the Pennsylvania state flag. So I thought that was uh, interesting and a little bit um, different, but it means, so that the flag is red, white, and blue with a little star on it. So the red stands for courage, the white means liberty, and the blue stands for loyalty. The star has five points, and it's one for each letter of the, of the state name. So T, E, X, A, S. So I think that's cool too. I love the different designs of the state flags. Uh, Texas actually has the highest speed limit in the United States. So a stretch of toll road between Austin and San Antonio permits drivers to go 85 miles per hour. So sometimes if you're driving on your highways here in um, Pittsburgh, you might see 65 miles an hour, maybe on 79. Um, I think we top out at like 70 miles per hour, but Texas has the highest speed limit and it's 85 miles per hour. Two more facts. The world's first rodeo was held in Pecos on July 4th, 1883. And the King Ranch in Texas is bigger than the state of Rhode Island. So there is one ranch that's actually bigger than the entire state of Rhode Island. So Texas is a super cool place. And I know um, Kylie actually was transferred here from Texas just this year. So she might even have some more information to add for us. Okay, so if you wanna check out more about the Southwest, feel free to read it in your social studies books. Uh, lesson one starts on page 300 and it goes to 304. Lesson two, you can read pages 308 through 311. And then lesson three, pages 314 to 317. They will give you a little bit more information and facts about things that I didn't necessarily cover, but I just wanted to give you guys an overview of the Southwest region, what states were in there, kind of what the climate was like in that region, and just a couple other cool facts about um, the different states there. So what I want you to do when you are done is I want you to watch the video from our YouTube channel titled The Grand Canyon, and then there's another one called the Saguaro National Park. 
So there is information about um, the Baobab tree and the Saguaro or Saguaro National Park. These are different. Uh, the Saguaro is, it's, is, a, is a cactus. It's a very, very large cactus. So there's two more YouTube um, videos on our YouTube channel after you're done watching my video that I want you to watch and then do your five facts, please, and full sentences and submit those to Dropbox this week. All right, next week, it's our last region. We're heading to the West.